Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. So welcome to your new moon in Aries readings, which does happen here on April 1st. So we're going to take a little look here at uh, the energies we're working with and I'm going to dive right into your reading. So we're dealing with a new moon energy which is all about new cycles, visions, dreams, goals, inviting in new positive energies in all areas of your life and also sending out well wishes for others, yourself and the universe basically. And then it's in the sign of Aries. So Aries is a fire sign. So, you know, that Aries energy is about being a leader in control of your destination, um, intention to make positive change, taking action on goals, trying new and innovative things as well, confidently being confident, assertive, without abrasiveness. And it's about embracing change and navigating it through with confidence as well. So when you think of Aries too, you think in the tarot represents the emperor and the tower. So, I mean, the Emperor is about leadership, taking control, and, uh, you know, the Tower is about change and endings and epiphanies as well. And then we're talking about the fire energy, which is all about that passion, courage, bravery, determination, willpower, strength, creativity, purpose, and inspiration. So the new moon is all about new beginnings, uh, new intentions, trying new things, being creative, inviting in new cycles, and just new energies overall and being in that leadership energy to take control and make things these new things happen for yourself so we're going to see you know there could be all areas of your life so we're going to see what is going on for each and every sign and so i shall see you at your signs reading hi taurus welcome in welcome in hope you're all doing well staying safe and healthy at this time let's see what's going on for you for this new moon in aries for taurus sun moon rising venus jupiter any heavy placements male or female general collective reading please only take what resonates for you including the signs mentioned you definitely can flip switch reverse energies around anytime you feel the need to especially if you are a cross watcher and actually could be reading our messages for you well look at this taurus we have yes your intuition is correct take action accordingly and we have self-employment you're a born an entrepreneur and your business is surrounded by magical opportunities. So if you've been thinking about going solo in some sort of endeavor, project, uh, career, business, entrepreneurship, working for yourself in some shape, some way, shape or form, being a freelancer or whatever that means for you, uh, the answer is definitely yes here, Taurus. Wow. Okay. Let's see where this is going. Everything that you do need to know about me and this channel. Taurus is down below in the description box, so you can check that out if you would like to. Your playlists are down there, and um, this will be out by, you know, the end of March, so you can still check out your March readings if you missed them. You have a March love reading, end of March, and I did the full moon in Virgo. You could still check that out um, if you'd like to. All right. And if you are new or returning here, I was doing weeklies and weekend readings, switching back to monthly format. Uh, frees up my time to try to uh, do more readings. Uh, it's very hard working a full-time job 40-50 hours a week to try to get weeklies out in a timely manner and uh, monthlies is a little more relaxed so I can do them when I can out when I can and I'm gonna try to do as many as I can and as many different um, themes, topics as well, more love readings, singles, new love, basic love reading, some money readings, uh, messages from spirit, so keep an eye out so more variety on the channel wow we have two sevens here taurus seven is a very divinely guided spiritual energy we have stand your ground it's about standing up standing up for your beliefs you know what your goals dreams aspirations are fighting for that and we have another seven here which is the chariot triumph and this is cancer energy so you got a cancer in your chart doesn't have to be but you know the chariot here is could be about moving or traveling as well relocating but it's about positive movement forward sex sex oh my god <laughs> success <laughs> oh i don't know where that came from success drive ambition balance and just kind of going for it here wow so now if you've been wanting to do this and you're like hmm i don't know maybe others have been putting you down or you know you're just we're not feeling good enough I think uh, it's time to 
get that fire in your belly and move forward. All right. Taurus. Okay. If um, I don't know if you're aware or not, Taurus, but I did create a backup channel just in case something were to happen to this channel. Link is below if you want to sub to that channel. No content on there yet, but I may post every now and then just to get that channel a little bit up and running. I did have a poll on the community tab and you can still vote on that as well. You may have to scroll down a little bit what kind of content you guys would like to see over there. And it looks like so far Twin Flame readings are winning. So you go to the community tab. I post a brand new poll every single day, uh, different topics as well. All right. So we have humor and health. Hmm, interesting combination. So I choose to focus on the lighter side of life and health. I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. So, you know, this is about having uh, a lighter outlook, being in, in a very light, uh, airy energy, not taking things. I mean, I think if you're planning on doing this, to take it seriously, but don't get so overwhelmed that you, you know, get uh, agitated or uh, aggravated or overwhelmed. Just kind of keep it light, fun as you go. And this will put you in that healthy mindset while you're moving forward in this venture, whatever it is for you. So it's about having a healthier outlook and being in a lighter vibration and know that you can achieve success, victory, standing up and going for it, fighting for what you want. It's definitely saying yes here. So we're looking at all energies. So if I do see anything about love, I will tell you that. All right. You may be connected to someone that may have a very good, uh, healthy sense of humor. That's kind of what I'm feeling as well. All right. Could be anybody. All right. Let's see. Taurus. Ooh. Let's see what we have here. So, well, there you are with the high priest, the hierophant. That is you, Taurus. See, so weighing the pros and cons here, you know, feeling a little uh, disheveled, maybe, you know, trying to decide whether or not, you know, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Um, with this two pentacles energy, it's like, not really making any progress forward and not really like taking many steps, just kind of juggling the energy around. And then we have the six of pentacles. So the six and the two would give you the eight of pentacles, which is about putting in the dedicated work and effort into something. Six of pentacles uh, is about balance, reciprocity. And the hierophant here is, I feel like definitely talking about you. How committed are you to your journey about leveling up? Hierophant is all about leveling up in a big way. It can be about learning new things as well. And you know, it can be about faith, spirituality, religion, um, many different things, corporations, businesses, um, institutional energies, like, you know, colleges, government, law, all that kind of thing as well. Uh, you maybe have you may have somebody here that has been juggling around the idea to reciprocate something involving um, a commitment or big leveling up in a relationship as well. All right, Taurus. Let's see where this is going. Oh my gosh! Look what's on the bottom of the deck. The Eight of Pentacles. That is funny. Can't make it up. Six in the two, and I just spoke of that. Wow. And look, you have a brand new beginning in love here. Self-love, spiritual love, love for what you do, feeling good and confident and peaceful enough, having compassion for yourself, peace, harmony, joy, ultimate fulfillment within yourself to move forward. As I say that, the Knight of Pentacles, this is Taurus energy, you know, being stable, grounded, confident, wise, practical, smart, analytical, moving forward, you know, not missing any steps along the way, taking your time, not rushing, but that Knight does cross the finish line. Page of Pentacles, taking that big idea of yours and putting that out into the universe. That's Capricorn. It definitely could be you. Could be a little fear here. You know, there's that new moon we're talking about with the moon here. This could be Pisces energy. Hangman, another Pisces card in limbo, stuck. I'm not sure. But it's time to get clear here with the King of Swords, Gemini energy, clear, direct to the point. Maybe some, you know, professional guidance or expertise may help you along the way. That King of Swords energy definitely could be somebody who could have um, expertise that may benefit you as well. Hmm. You know, somebody could be getting ready here where there was a lot of illusion before and uncertainty because nothing was moving. 
could be coming in here to set, shed some truth and clarity. And as I say that, the Ace of Swords, successful new beginning, epiphany, awakening, aha moment, clarity, honest, truthful communication, cutting away what's no longer starving, uh, serving, standing up, standing up, telling it like it is. And there's divine guidance here, the star, Aquarius energy, faith, hope, optimism, wishes, dreams coming true, divinely guided energy, things meant to be, healing. Wow, temperance, Sagittarius energy, divine alchemy, divine timing, patience, healing, balance, soulmates coming together at the exact right time, past lives together as well. Wow. I did see just the Ten of Swords here. So, I mean, it could be an energy of thinking it was over. But someone's definitely juggling around the, around the idea of coming back and reciprocating an offer to level, level up is what I feel as well. And also, this is your energy about it's time to stop juggling around the idea of leveling up big time. I think the universe wants to reciprocate the energy that you're putting in that you're wanting to put in or you should put into some sort of endeavor. I feel like it's a solo endeavor moving forward. All right. What else here for Taurus? Two of Swords indecision. Not sure what to do. Maybe some here need more clarity as well. Capricorn. Hmm. So we have the Devil and the King of Wands. King of Wands can be Leo. And the Shadow side is the Devil, which is Capricorn. Now, the King of Wands could be a leader, an entrepreneur, a business owner, uh, someone's very creative, inspirational, spiritual, is a leader. Someone who, you know, takes control, goes after what they want, they make it happen. But there's a lot of fear, shadow and doubt revolving around uh, pursuing that. Now, that could be Leo, Aries, Sag. We did see the moon earlier, so that is the new moon in Aries. And it's all about being a leader. So you may be fearing being a leader or being, you know, that entrepreneur. So there's a lot of indecision around that. Oh my gosh, the two of cups, soulmate union here. Eight of swords being stuck, nine of pentacles. Definitely a single independent energy, having everything you need, being confident, secure, not having to worry, making your money. Eight of cups. Somebody may have walked away for a time because they wanted to be single we do have Aries here now with the Emperor, New Moon in Aries. And again, this could be a business owner, entrepreneur, a leader, um, Divine Masculine as well. Divine Masculine could be coming back here or however that resonates for you with an apology, uh, a Ceseo offer, returning here, Six of Cups. So I definitely feel like someone is returning here. There was a lot of confusion, illusion surrounding this. If, you know, was I just played for a fool? Uh, was I blindsided? Aquarius with the Fool here. is about resetting, clean slate, new leap of faith, start over. Queen of Cups, Cancer energy behind that. A lot of love here as well. Loving what you do, trusting your intuition. All right. Let's see here. Taurus, what else do we need to know? I just heard, yes, you are born a leader, and it's time to stand confidently and to triumph in that energy. A natural born leader, but you're doubting it. Knight of Cups. So there's going to be some romance here. Chivalry, courting, dating, getting to know. Romance, moving forward here. Scorpio energy. Also following your heart, letting your heart lead you instead of your fear. Oh my gosh, Two of Cups and the Ace of Cups. Oh my gosh. So we have two, three, and this cup he's holding can be four, which there was, you know, could have been uh, unrequited love at one time. It could have been a missed opportunity. Again, spiritual love, self-love, new beginning that you'll just absolutely love the direction your life is going. Could be also some sort of partnership could be business. It could be two people um, on the same wavelength as well. Death. So transformation, transformation of life as you know it. 
something is over you, you do feel like emperor now this could be you know on the outs with a boss currently and realizing you know i just cannot get ahead with this job this boss you know very stubborn energy as well feeling like you know i just need to move on it's time feeling like it's been over in a situation for quite a long time so death here scorpio is about transition transformation uh transmutation healing letting it go and moving into the new which could be as the emperor an entrepreneur so we're getting the same energies here so definitely there's a transition waiting to take place here the universe is trying to tell you it's time taurus it's time yes move forward move forward do it in a healthy light-hearted energy but stand your ground and fight for what you want Hmm. All right. Could be somebody coming in here finally fighting for a connection with you after a time of having to battle their dark side, you know, fear, stress, worry, anxiety, low self-esteem, negative thinking, pessimism, could have been, you know, addictions, obsessions, blah, 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 as well. There is a strong tie here. The devil is kind of like the lovers, but it's a little more intense. I always see it that way. Strong, intense, passionate connection sometimes can go toxic so you need to watch that like codependency feel like you can't live without that other person blah 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 like you want to be careful of those energies as well all right so we have two 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 we have three twos here which means that big decision is at play and a big partnership all right, so let's get more here for you, Taurus. And that's funny because two, two, two would be um, two, two, two would be six, and we have the six of pentacles right here. So decisions need to be made to bring uh, in the balance that you're seeking. So we have the moon. Oh no, that's judgment, and the three of wands. So uh, big again, judgment is about a big decision. Judgment call. Scorpio energy, three of wands, about waiting, a wait, waiting period here. That is for sure. Now, this could be just not the right time yet, or someone's literally on purpose procrastinating and waiting as well. Judgment here, life review, relationship review, healing, forgiving, letting things go of the past, can be resurrection, um, things meant to be big big decision that is for sure i think some of you've been waiting on making this decision but with the sevens over here i mean that is definitely divinely guided energy and it's time decision time is now all right taurus oops i can hold on to the cards here so we have the world leo aquarius taurus scorpio Cycle closing out, just like the death card. New beginning is at hand. Could be moving, traveling, distance, um, social media. It can also be networking, online communications of some kind. Definitely new cycles at hand here. All right, what else here for Taurus? Tower. Big shift, change, awakening, epiphany, aha moment, revelation. Could be a crumbling down, breaking down, surprise or shock. Could be good or bad. Aries energy. Ten of cups is at hand here. Total happiness, joy, fulfillment in every single way. Happy home and family. Full circle, completion. Why is the tower here? I feel like there's so much waiting here and not making the decision that the universe may step in and make the decision for you. So, you know, you really don't want the universe to step in and make unexpected things happen that you're not prepared for either. Because sometimes that doesn't always put you in the best kind of um, energy. Star. Divinely guided energy. Again, showing up Aquarius. Wishes and dreams coming true, faith, hope, optimism, healing, things meant to be, divinely guided energy, two of wands showing. So we have all four twos here. 
So definitely it's time here to make a decision. Definitely time to make a decision and to choose the path forward. I feel like someone's also um, finally deciding here to choose a path towards you as well. Hangman, definitely in limbo here, Pisces energy. Two cards of Pisces again, illusion, fear, on pause, not sure, uncertain, uncertainty, but Eight of Pentacles about putting in that work. Four of Wands will lead to stability, ceremony, celebrations, maybe even buying a new home, moving, uh, could be moving in, commitment, marriage, stability in the home front, some sort of way. Seven of Cups, illusion, Queen of Cups, Three of Cups. See, someone's coming back to reunite. There is a lot of love here, Cancer Energy. Five of Wands. There was a lot of conflict. And now we have the King and Queen of Wands. You could actually end up being power couple, business partners, working together on your project, idea. They may help you um, as you're progressing this forward. I mean, it may not be permanent, but they may actually help you progress you forward just for a time till you get on your feet. Six of Cups. Definitely returning here. Nostalgia. Could be children involved. Page of Cups. You know, apologies, loving communications, sincere offers, children, again, chariot, again, positive movement forward, cancer energy, strength. You are strong, courageous, and brave that you can do this. Also, a strong connection that cannot be denied, maybe even past lives together. Infinity there, infinity here. You probably both feel this. Been a lot of willpower, uh, holding back. But it's about being strong, courageous, and brave and going for it. Wow. All right, so definitely the energy is here telling you, yes, go for it. And I feel like somebody you're connected to is finally going to come in and go for it as well. And I think they're going to help you. You know, they may help you plan, plan this out, uh, help you along the way, just until you get on your feet as well. Like I said, some of you may end up being business partners, a uh, power couple. You know, they may say, okay, I'll help you temporarily. You know, I know a little bit. I can help you, you know, until you get on your feet right there. Then might end up being something that you do for the long term. So I may feel like, well, I'm just going to dip my toe in a little bit, you know, just a little bit. But then it might be, you know, jumping in full force. I mean, we did see the um, full energy, I think, earlier as well. All right. So let's get you some advice and guidance here. Say thank you. 40, which is four, very stable ground energy. I think this person is really going to help to stabilize you, help you on your endeavor. So be very thankful, grateful, appreciative as well. It's too many. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me get a good shuffle in here. All right. What else do we need to know? Advice and guidance for Taurus. Share your gift, 62, which is eight. So this can be courting, dating, you know, going out, having a good time. Definitely could be travel, action, communication. And somebody's going to share their gifts. And I had felt that. They're going to share their gifts to help you get you where you need to be. Which would, may take on long-term relationship here as well. And we have take no offense, 53, which is 8 again. So, I mean, someone may came in, come in and say, well, you're doing it wrong. This is how you need to do it. And you may get defensive you know, uh, being offended by either maybe things they say or do or their advice and guidance. I don't know, something like that. But it's saying don't be offended. You know, they're just here to help you uh, along the way. Eight, eight. So definitely here. Infinity, just like here and uh, on the strength card that we've seen. But why is that no offense here? I just want to clarify that. Why is that no offense here? Look forward, 41.5. So I think this person, again, is going to help change your trajectory, help change your outlook, help change the path that you thought was the right path to like move this forward. They may come in and say, uh, we need to change that because it's, it's not working or whatever here. And you may, you may be offended by that, but it's telling you not to take offense because it's all for your highest good. Seek an expert. Oh my God, I can't make it up. 52, which is seven. Again, divinely guided spiritual energy. That's three sevens here. We had like, we saw like all four twos. We have two eights. Wow. 
So don't take offense. This person may really know what they're talking about. So don't take offense if you're like, oh, no, because look at that. After that, we have start anew, too. So definitely this person is probably knows what they're talking about. So don't be afraid to start a new method or trajectory. I mean, that's that new moon in Aries energy. It's about trying new things, experimenting. But I think this person knows what they're talking about. Now, this could be someone you know or you don't know. Maybe you will seek an expert. It could end up turning out to be a love interest. So many different energies here, Taurus. But first card out was you. And the last card out was the Ace of Cups. So however you're leveling up, and this could be the expert right here, Taurus, someone of high wisdom and value, leads to brand new beginning and love here. Wow. All right, Taurus, that's what I have for you. So I hope that helped. It resonated. Again, thank you so much for being here. It's truly, truly appreciated. Again, you can check your playlist down below. If you missed your March readings, you still have time to watch them. Your love reading, your end of March, and your full moon in Virgo, if you'd like to check that out. I know it's a little late for that, but you could still watch it if you would like to. Feel free to sub to the backup channel, which looks like it could be a Twin Flame channel, and I may be posting content there in the future. Again, you go to the community tab, vote on the polls, past polls as well. New one every day, different topics. Um, and you can still vote on what you'd like to see on the other channel. You may have to dig a little bit, but it is there. And um, look for different content coming out on the channel. I'll still be doing new moon, full moon, uh, an overall monthly reading, um, love reading, singles, new love, basic love reading, money readings, spirit messages. So I'm going to try to do as many as I can, so keep an eye out for that. All right, Taurus, wishing you the best, and I shall see you next time.